what's going on guys in this video we are going to take a look at signed integers before we saw unsigned integers the difference between unsigned integers and the signed integers is for signed integers we include the negative number as well for unsigned integers the limit is it goes from 0 to positive infinity but for signed integer it includes all the negative numbers as well okay now let's go ahead and see how we can represent a signed integer there are four ways we can do that first one is sign magnitude sign and magnitude and the sex uh, i mean second method is ones complement ones complement and the third method is twos complement twos complement and the last method is binary coded decimal okay now let's go ahead and look at what is sine and magnitude is sine and magnitude now for sine and magnitude the last the most left significant digit represents the sign for example let's look at this number 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 7 actually let's say 1 1 1 it cannot be 7 because i'm writing in, in terms of binary so this one the number before the last the most the leftmost significant digit this is representing the sign this one is sign and the number comes after that representing the magnitude magnitude now here this number is 7 because it goes like 1, 2, 4, 8 and uh, double of each time. Okay, So here you can see 4 plus 2 plus 1 that's 7. So this is 7 and based on the last uh, the most uh, left significant digit left most significant digit. Okay, let's write left most we determine whether it is positive 7 or negative 7. Here it's 0. If it's 0 it means this is a positive 7 okay and let's say let's look at the question let's say a question is asking us to represent plus seven in eight eight bit memory store uh, let's uh, write the question here let's say the question is asking store plus seven in on eight bit memory location 8-bit memory location using sine 8 sine and magnitude representation using sine and magnitude representation okay now plus seven plus seven is first of all we have to go like eight four two one so seven is one 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 the last three digits should be one and since this is eight bit memory location what we have to do is n minus one n minus one mean eight if it's eight eight minus one that's seven so we have to fill it up with seven bit memory first here three is already gone so we have to put four more zeros we fill we put zeros for n minus one locations so three is already gone we need four more okay now we have seven one two three four five six seven the last one goes to the sign if it's positive we have to put a zero if it's negative we have to put a one that's the difference okay this is the this is how we store plus seven in a 80, eight bit memory location now let's look at another example let's say we have asked to um, store 258 in a 16-bit memory location 16-bit memory location store negative 258 in a 16-bit memory location memory location now let's see how it goes 258 we know that it goes like 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 
and after that 256 here all we need is uh, 256 and a 2 to get 258 so we need a 256 and a 2 others are going to be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 now since this is a 16 bit memory location we had put n minus 1 location 0 after this after whatever value we derived we had to plug 0 for the values to fill 50 like 16 minus 1 that's 15 so we had to make 15 by adding 0 in front of this until we get 15 here let's see how many is already gone 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Alexa what is 15 minus 9 15 minus 9 equals 6 so we had to put six more zeros in front of this because nine is already gone so we had to put six more zeros to make it 15. so one two three four five six and then i i full put these numbers one zero 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 one zero now 15 numbers are gone one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen now for the last the <coughs> most left the leftmost significant digit <coughs> it's it's a sign <coughs> if it's a negative we had to put a one if it's a positive we had to put a zero here we can see this is negative 258 so since this is negative we had to put a one right here and that's how we store a 60 negative 258 in a 16-bit memory location and that's how we do that that's how we represent the signed integers I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And if you are trying to learn computer architecture or if you are trying to learn digital logic design too, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watch that too. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.